one. Greetings to you in the name of the Father, the Creator, the Most High, Elah, Yahaha, Yodhet Bahuhe, Elohim, Netar of Netar, God in your modern day name, Kodowish, 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 Yodhet Bahuhe, Sebachot, Kodowish, 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 Elohim, Say, but yo, greetings and blessings to you in the name of the Lord Thoth, Mehel Chesedic, your headwa, Adonai, Kodo wish, Kodo wish, Kodo wish, Adonai, say, but yo, thank you, my Lord, yes, thank you, my Lord, for giving us a chance. To turn our thoughts back to you. To return unto you. To turn to you. And you shall return to us. My Lord, you have left that doorway open. And you shall return to us, my Lord. You have given us all the understanding that we need. That we should return unto you. And you left that opportunity open to the children of Levi, children of Judah, children of Israel, children of Ephraim, all of Jacob as well. Zechariah 1 verse 12. The Lord said, when that yet done with returning unto him, with turning back to the Lord, Got to give you that message one more time so you know how important it is. Children, offer names of the Lord said unto you. Yes, children of Israel, the offer names, the angels in the heavens and the ones down here that emptied out the heavens and came down here to get a job done. 2024 to 2027. Ask the Lord, how long? My Lord, that's a question that we asked how we got the answer. How long will you, my Lord, not have mercy upon Jerusalem, Lewis, Jerome, Armstrong, and the people attached to Lewis, Jerome, Armstrong? That's the Israel as well. Those are the inhabitants of Jerusalem. How long, my Lord? Of Jerusalem. How long, my Lord? How long? As Judah as well. The great black army. How long we have to wait before we get our chance to get rid of the fallen angel and those they set up in the third dimension. Those with all kind of different head, dog head, snake head, cat head, all kind of head. How long, my Lord, we get to put up with them before we get rid of them? How long, how long against which they have been running this planet with hate, anger, war, 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 robbery, robbery, usury, usury. Fornication, how long, my Lord, how long before we put them out the door? How long, my Lord, 70 years, three scores, and 10 years, that's how long you have to put up with them. 1954, when Jerusalem, Lois, Jerome Armstrong, Put in a physical body. How long? We have to put up with them. 2024. That's the ending time for these folks that been putting our planet under indignation, giving us fallen idols to worship. Come up with why Jesus. How long? Before we put why Jesus out the door. How long? We got to put up with this government running the people, not the people running the government. How long? 
they shall poison. How long, Lord, my Lord? How long? Yes, my Lord, I'm still asking you. How long shall they poison the air? How long they shall poison the water? How long shall they leave the land? Desolate America begging to be sent back into the Holy Land. How long? How long? How long? How long we got to deal with these folks that need to lift up off the planet, to lift up out of America? How long? Three scores. And ten years, I gave you the answer already. In your voice, you got the answer. Tell the people, 70 years. Then, their time done. Starting, started, started. 1954. That's how long. Jeremiah 29 verse 10. Again, how long? Babylon shall rob the people, rob the people, and tell pure lies, lies, lies. How long, my Lord? How long? Seventy years. That's how long these things shall be accomplished in Babylon, America, ruled by Canaan, the dog head man. And his name, a.k.a. Chaldean, Philistine, ungodly, and who giving him order, be the one with the serpent head. Serpent head, when the glamour is removed, and he's the son of the bigger serpent head. Lucifer, how long they shall set up vicar of Christ, the great mouth, speaking blasphemy, Vicar of Christ, Roman Catholic Pope, how long shall have that man leading the people astray? How long shall our servant, Goma Gentile, Caucasian, rule over us? How long? How long? 70 years on their time. Done. Yes. 70 years, I will come back to you, return unto you. After 70 years, I shall visit you. I shall visit you. That's the message I'm leaving for you from the Lord to Melchizedek. I will visit you, children of Levi, children of Judah, children of Israel, children of Jacob, and perform my good word, seed. Time coming back, your children of Israel, seed. Time coming back, children. Read. Generative seed has started back up. Oh, how long? 70 years. Then you shall get it back. 2024. Toward children of Israel. Cause it to return. Return. Return to this place. You hear me? How long? We got the answer. Lord. You answered the offer names. We got the answer loud and clear. Please, you're returning back. Crown on top of your head. First, starting with Jerusalem. Crown coming back to the children of Judah. Ephraim, Levi. Your crown coming back. Judah. You're getting back your battalion reform. The great black army coming back. Levite. The priests are back. The Levite priests are back. Children of Israel. Mount Zion gonna be set up in Denver, Colorado. Yes! Cannot be stopped. Yes! Cannot be stopped. The land of promise. The entire southeast of America. Belong to you. Yes! Florida, no Jerusalem, setting back up, cannot be changed firmly. 
decided that's how long, 70 years. You think we're not done as yet? Daniel 9 verse 24, 70 weeks are determined, 70 years are determined. Hear me now? Holy city shall be done, finished and set up. No, Jerusalem, and then back Colorado, and in Florida, set back up. Transgression, wickedness, all the abomination being done on the land. Done, done, done. End, end, end. All out of balance in America. Done, done, done. All breaking God's law in America. Done, done, done. Last three years, wind down time. 2024 to 2027. Start wrapping up. Start getting your jacket ready to put on you. And get your hat ready to put on your head. And walk out of the door. Breaking in the everlasting vision of all prophecy. Every single one of them. That's in your book. Yes, that's the anointing of your Holy One. Praise King Lewis. Call it back. That's the 70 years given unto you, explained unto you, and the Lord answer us. Look on the right hand side of your screen and you'll see the timing of when the 70 years truly and truly and truly done, truly and truly and truly done, truly and truly and truly done, October 22nd, 2024. Then, spiritually done, March 25th, 2025. Done, 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 done. Yes! All of this start reverse. Every one of the things these fallen ones set up. Every single one of it start to break down. Mash up. Start to fall and crumble in pieces. Children, look on the left hand side of your screen. I gave you some signal dates. April 8th, the last one. That's when your solar eclipse. That's when your solar eclipse. Mark out the X over America and say, this is the year that your son of man shall get back his priest kingship. Ready and ready and ready and ready. Waiting for him. Because the seven years that the first arm of the solar eclipse passed over America, your son of man came in that time. 2017, he came to you spiritually when the first arm of your solar eclipse passed over America. Now that the second arm has passed over, he's going from a prince to a king. Children, sins, done! You hear me? Whoever big and practicing sin, know that your time is winding up. Daniel 8 verse 13, this is for the saints, the Levites, telling you right now, speaking to you right now, how long, you hear me, children of Israel, how long shall that vision be concerning the daily sacrifice, your children of Israel, your children of Judah, your children of Jacob, your children of Ephraim, Yes, how long shall the transgression be performed against you? How long shall these wicked ones break the most high law, push you and entice you to break the most high law as well and put yourself into a desolation, leading you to being expelled from the kingdom of the most high for 70 years? How long? Our sanctuary shall be defiled and our hosts fallen vicar and all his demon and elemental running up and down in America shall trot down our holy land how long Daniel 9 verse 2 Daniel understood by books of Jeremiah that came to Daniel and said the number of years that shall be accomplished where the wicked one hold out in the last time last seven days yes that's how long. 70 years in desolation of Jerusalem, USA in the world. That old Jerusalem moved from over there in the Middle East, in the Middle East, where they're fussing and fighting, fake Israel and Iran and Iraq warring. That's the old location. They're trying to keep your attention over there. But Jerusalem, all of them know, if you string them up to a lie detector, it will tell you that they know certainly that Jerusalem is here in America. And yes, the new Egypt is here in America as well. That's where we're at. Jerusalem, USA, in the world. 
New Jerusalem. Yo, I say, New Jerusalem. Lois, Jerome, Armstrong, coming. Brand new fire. Taking out of his garments of rock. Put on a crown on his head. That's how long. 70 years. Then the man shall get his crown and get his robe put back on him. Yes, the ring put on his finger. Yes, shoes on his feet. Economic. And yes, get the kiss on his neck. That's how long 2024 begin the kiss. Yes, 2024 kick off the kiss, the robe, the ring on his finger, the shoes on his feet, and food, righteous food, earthly food in his belly. That's coming, that's how long. 70 years, but we're not done yet. God will hate. Verse 14. And then Gabriel said unto me, The orphan named Gabriel said unto the children of Israel, I said unto you, 2,300 days shall be until the sanctuary. Plans. That's why we go back here. And say, how long shall they keep our sanctuary defiled, fully defiled, and trodden underfoot? Vicar of Christ, setting up all his things, his demons, his elemental, and abolix, measuring water level to see how deep you're in the admiralty law or the maritime law. How long? Hear me now, we got 70 years over a year. How we know the 70 years bring us up to 2024 from 1954 when our Messiah priest king born at that time in a physical bad day. How long? 70 years? Let's look at it from the 2,300 days. Yes! When did your priest king come to you as a prince? He came unto you October 22nd, 2016. And yes, he came spiritually 155 days later, March 25th, 2017. That's the year. The first arm of your solar eclipse went over the holy land of America, marking the first of the eggs to tell you that's the location. So, 2,300 days. 2,300 days after that, he's 6.297 years, bringing you up to where? 2024. Again, everything landing on 2024. Hello! Gabriel told us 2,300, 2,300 days, then the sanctuary shall be fully cleansed. Hear me now and hear me well. Sanctuary, cleanse, cleanse, cleanse. Firm and sure, if you don't believe, yes, I got more fire. Luke 10, verse 17, and the 70 years return, return, return. That's what happened after your 70 years are done. Return you did unto the Lord, and the Lord turned back to you and said, Let's clear the land of America. Land cleansing time now, 2024 to 2027. So Judah, you've been on long-term vacation and self-retirement plan. No, your retirement plan has been revoked. The army has fully been reactivated. The army, the righteous army, return again. The Levite priests are back. They have returned again. And our priest king, yes, our priest king, Zerubbabel, the governor of Judah and Joshua, the high priest. Yes, that's your priest king. Put together has one. Have returned. Children, have been joy. That's the time for joy. I tell you, 2024, you can be in joy, the blessing, or you can continue thinking that pyramid of evil, of darkness, with who? Lucifer at top, down to Benelli, to Cain and I, running up in the middle, vicar of Christ, and he's giving, go my Gentile instruction, done, done, done. That's what I'm here to tell you without an apology. Yes! Joy saying to the children of Israel, even the devils, even the devils are subject to us after 70 years. 
That's what I've been shouting and telling you. And who don't like me shouting, hear what? Attune to me. I'm not going to lower my tuning for you. Turn up your vibration so you can hear and understand what I'm saying coming to you from the Lord. Those Melchizedek, Jehovah. Yes, those devils are subject unto us. Children of Israel, lost and far, sitting at the top, falling angel right below him, beneath with snake head, yes, him to Canaan with dog head, yes, him to Vicar of Christ, Jezebel, yes, him to Esau, go my gentle cocky, John, yes, him to subject. To us, did you hear me? Did I make a mistake or did I stutter? No, Jerusalem, Lois, that's the first one he's subjected to. Then, Levite, 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 then, Judah, the great army, wrapping back up all those seven on the left side, bringing them to subjection, subdue, and dominion, subduing them completely. Children! Of Israel, your joy and your good times are back through the name of the Lord. Those men, Chesedek, Yahweh, Adonai, hear me now. You can stay on the curse because now you've been fully notified that your blessing has returned. 2024, the seventh year is done, and now you need to return to the Lord. Turn to the Lord. Those Melchizedek, Jehovah. Or if you want to continue, stay in choice B, the curse. Joshua 24, verse 9. Yes, during your last 70 years, they were busy having fun, running up and down with all kind of curses. Balaam, that is Benelli, and his prophets of Baal, priest of Mahan, running up and down, handing out favors like candy to kids, to Balak, the hidden hand, the cabal they call themselves, which are called the zipper. No, it's an anagram for robbers. They've been robbing you. King of Moabite, yes, that's the Moabite, the Shemite as well, falling Shemite, that's the Judas that's been running in the background, holding Judah hostage, did you hear me a while ago, Judas, the S at the end for sinners, Satan, and Judah, the H at the end is heavenly, children, those are the one, Judas, Zipper, king of Moabite, arose and war against you in the background. And he's sending out instruction to Balaam, calling up Balaam and saying, son of Balaam, son of Beor, robe. Beor is an anagram for robe. That means they're wearing the robe. They are the priests of Mahan, the prophets of Baal, and their representative sitting in your courthouse right now, wearing a black robe. That's the extension of it. From all the way from above, down to below. To do what? To curse you! To curse you! All kind of curse they've been putting on you for the 70 years. And I won't hold up more of your time telling you about all the curse. Just know that now you can stay under their confinement, under their dominion. Ah, you can move back to Luke 10, verse 70. Your 70 years return. Done. Children of Israel, joy coming to you. Again, joy coming to you. Again, joy coming to you. You don't believe? Numbers 22, verse 12. And God said unto Balaam, God said unto Balaam, Benele, Benele, priest of Mahan, priest of Mahan, prophet of Baal, you shall not curse the children of Israel anymore. Did you hear me? Did you hear me? He got the instruction. And you think in his right mind, he can go against the instructions of the Lord? No, no, go so. No, no, go so. No, no, go so. Cannot. Go outside of that instruction without facing the consequence of his decision. And he doesn't want, and he doesn't want to face that consequence from not going with what the authority of the Lord said. So he said, don't curse the children of Israel, the children of Levi, the children of Judah, the children of Ephraim, even Jacob. Don't curse them anymore because they are blessed. 
Did you hear me in the back row? They are blessed. That's you now. 2024, instruction given unto them. And the instruction being firmly given unto them. Firmly given. Standing strong. This year, the people shall stand up because they are not being cursed anymore. The cursing done. Deuteronomy 23 verse 5. 2024. The Lord thy God would not listen to Balaam. He gave him the instruction already. And Kabal, Kabal, Balak keep going back to Balaam saying, Go ask the Lord again if he can change his mind. Tell him, please, please, please. We give you all the riches in the world if you can do this one favor for us. Curse the children of Israel. Some more after 2024. And Balaam said to them, The Lord said, He turned the curse. And I can't curse them anymore. Done. 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 Children of Israel, I've been telling you, your curse been lifted. Now it's blessing on top of blessing on top of blessing. So if you want to still give that side of the pyramid, all the way from Lucifer down to Caucasian Goma Gentile power, when they have zero power, you must be out of your bleep bleep mind. Children, nevertheless, the Lord God would not listen to Balaam. No more listening to Balaam. Balaam, your time done. Go sit down over there. So go have a seat in the corner, Balaam. But the Lord God turned the curse into a blessing. Children, did you hear me a while ago? Your curse turned into a blessing. So, only the blessing exists with you now, and only if you want to continue holding on to Balaam, Balak, Jezebel, Benali, Canaan, Canaan, Lucifer, Lucifer, Baal, lies. Then they're all yours. Then you belong to them. But if you go back, turn back to the Lord, I shall turn your curse into a blessing because I love you. Firmly, firmly decided because I love you. Firmly, firmly decided because I love you. 2024, turning that curse into a blessing, and I'm closing my ears to Balaam. No more listening to no Balaam with no curse, information, no, no curse, idea. Done, 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 children. The blessing and your curse again. I'm giving them to you so you have enough choices to make and know that your blessing. Turn back on, turn back on, it turn up, turn up, turn up, turn up, turn up. So move back to your blessing by turning back to your Lord. Turn your thoughts back to your Lord. Because your Lord love you, want to make that blessing fully and firmly fixed on you. And you have to move into that blessing by moving back. To the Lord, show that I made my choice. I'm not serving no two masters anymore. Told you in Matthew, you can't serve two masters. Can't serve the Lord those and the Most High and Lucifer and Balaam and Balak. Whether you're serving them knowingly or unknowingly, you're still serving. You cannot do that anymore. You got to move back to the true knowledge of the Most High and the Lord coming to you from the number one prophet, Louis Jerome Armstrong, and then from all the Levites and Judah connected to that energy. Yes! That's what you need to do now and move your thoughts, all your focus, all your consciousness, all of your mind, and all of your love back to the Lord because the Lord loves you. You got to love back the Lord right now and move yourself back fully and firmly 100% fixed on the Lord or you can stay on Joshua 24 verse 9 where Balak where Balak is sending information to Balaam which is the priest of Mahan to administer more curse upon you when the curse time done so whatever spell Balaam had already cast out there so whatever spell Balaam had already cast it's still hanging out there still hanging out there holding on to you until you let it go and go back 
to your blessing. Children of Israel, their time done. Their time done. Their time done. Every one of them going down, down, down. Downward spiral, out of control. Hit the ground and self-explode. That's their kingdom coming. Every one of their kingdom set on fire. Children of Israel. Look, 10 verse 17. 70 years. I add on to that. Look, 10 verse 20. Rejoice not because you get back your power over those fallen spirits. Rejoice because you have returned unto the Lord and the Lord returned unto you. That's how you should rejoice. These fallen spirits were below you to begin with and you should not have let yourself fall into them. They are fallen spirits and they're below you before you came into this existence. You came in as a fifth dimensional being and you allowed yourself to be fallen by this fourth dimensional being. So don't rejoice because because you got rid of them. Rejoice that you went back to who you truly are. Yes, that's you. Yes, that's you. You're not subject to no more fallen spirit. But rather, rejoice because your names are written in the heavenly, heavenly tablet. Your name is written. There and the Most High and the Lord name is written in your forehead, in your thoughts, because you return unto the Lord. You turn your thoughts back to the Lord and the Most High, and they turn back to you and wrote your name in the book. Check. They came back home to me. That's the instruction given unto the Levite. Yes, return my children home. Bring them home. Teach them to love one another and bring them home. That's what I come to you and I say it with a loud voice so you hear me loud and clear. Time for you to return home. Get your name written back in the book of life. Children of Israel, children of Lewis, weren't you promised your great substance after your 400 years are completed after your 70 years of affliction? Done. Genesis 15, verse 14. Afterward, they shall come out. You shall come out with great substance given back unto you. Israel, Jacob, Levite, Judah, yes, Ephraim, yes, great substance. One possession of your holy land of America. Two. Caretaker of the entire planet. You're moving back to the head of the day. But three people of the celestial kingdom. Children connection back to your over self body. Four rulers of all nations. Of all nations. None of them. Exempted from your rule. No, not them. Exempted from your rule. Five, eternal life. No more sickness. No more death. No more war. No more stress. None, none, none. Because all those creating the stress right now, gone. You hear me? Your substance come men back just as promised unto you. Children, Haggai 1 verse 14. Yes, all yours, children of Israel. Save it to yours. Yes, I've been telling you, I've been telling you about your 70 years. Kabbalah, the harmony of opposite. By W.J. Colville, page 162. Yes, in the seventh yet year, your Messiah shall appear, shall appear, shall show up in Galilee. Amen. Rick, He's 
already here in a physical body. Lowly, dressed in rags, but yes, the most high and the Lord. Gonna turn back on his life. Throw away those filthy rocks. Put on the white garment on him. Put it on him. Put the crown on me tread on his head. Children, children, children. Put a crown of light upon his head. Children of Israel. Babylon will fall into pieces of the savings yet here. Start with this, with this, or be telling your children how mighty king will arise, oh God, arise, my priest king. Yes, telling you, coming your way, and shall conquer the entire planet. That's why I can't tell you over here, your substance, roll the entire planet, all nations. Not one of them exempted from this children. Almighty King, rising up at the seventh year, starting 2024. How God I won? Verse 14. That mighty King, rising up under the Judah banner, Zerubbabel, coming here. Wait, yes, he's getting back. He's over self, priestly, body, Joshua, putting the two together. Praise King, coming your way. High priest, mixed with governor of Judah. Yes, that's your mighty King, coming your way. Children, I tell you. This coming to your past over and all the spirits, all the people connected to Lewis, your priest king, yes, shall be stirred up, stirred up, stirred up, coming your well, and they shall build my house. Children of Israel, firmly, firmly, firmly given back unto you, children of Israel. Yes, children of Israel. Ah, guy, one verse fifty on the sixth month. Of your Hebrew calendar, children of Israel, I say it one more time for you. Ah, God, one verse fifteen on the sixth month of your Hebrew calendar, twenty twenty four. Come in the spirit of the Lord, stirring back up the children of Israel. Your priest. King first, your Zerubbabel, your Joshua, coming together as one, and then the remnants of Israel firmly decided, yes, on your Hebrew calendar, 2024, I shall stir up the spirit of Zerubbabel, mixed with Joshua, your priest. King and the remnant of Israel. Arise, O oh God, and build my house. Arise, 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 O oh God, and build my house. Arise, children of Israel, I tell you, your 70 years are done. And when your 70 years done, some people getting stirred up. Children of Israel, rejoice because your substance is back. Rejoice because your substance is 
Bah! Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Make a loud noise. You think I am loud? I am not loud yet. Make a loud noise unto your Lord. Sing and praise with gladness. Come before his presence with singing, knowing that he's your Lord God. Oh, Jezebel, yo, hey, what? Those whose name shall be written in the heavenly tablet. Make a loud noise firmly given back unto you. You think I'm loud? Deuteronomy 27, 14. My Levite, my high priest, my saint, my Nazarite, Speak loud. You hear me? Speak loud to all the children of Israel, all the children of Louis. Speak loud to them. That's my instruction. So if you come and talk about it is too loud and da 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 da. That's the instruction you go back to and it has instruction for you gonna give you your instruction about about complaining about loud voice raise your vibration to the levels of my loud voice instructed unto the Levite all Levite speak with a loud voice to all children, not some, all, you hear me, children of Israel, take book of ancient wisdom by Dr. Doria, page 72, when any loud vibration from Levite enter your ears, you must harmonize your vibration to the Levite voice. That's what you have to do. Or you will cause in harmony in your body. Children of Israel. Children of Louis. Children of Judah. Children of Jacob. Children of Ephraim. You have to raise your vibration up to my vibration. So you don't have in harmony, disharmony, chaos with attuning to me. Changing your rate of vibration to come up to my rate of vibration. So the information won't cause this heart my day. Get it. Get it right this time. You're at the last leg of the journey. So don't let this man that tell you, though you need a college professor with nice speaky spoky talking to you. No, no, go so. You hear me? I am here to give it to you loud and clear. So you don't make no further mistake. Children, you got to vibrate with me and the Lord thought sending me to speak to you loud. Children of Israel, scientifically, it is called sympathetic vibration. They know it exists, but they don't tell you. When the sound of a tuning fork, of a Levite, or of a Judah is coming close to you, coming close to you, you must develop the same frequency. So you can sympathetically vibrate with whatever they're saying. The second fork, which is you, my people, will begin to vibrate sympathetically, meaning attuning to the Levite voice, to the Judah voice, and you will have the same harmony, the same effect, and any shouting, or any singing, or any instrument they're playing, you will at all to it, children! Call sympathetic vibration, same vibration. You got to get along with who giving you the information. 
they've been giving you low vibration and they have you attuned to low vibration. So when a high vibration come your way, you get disorganized and you get headache and you don't feel good and you feel irritated. Step up! Your vibration and match and match the sender Levite, the sender Judah vibration. Children, you got to cast your vibration now to the right hand side of your body to attune to Levite and Judah and your priest king. Cast your energy to the right because it's time for us to build the house has given unto you. In guy 1 verse 14, build a house, build a house, build a house. And the sixth month, and the sixth month, build a house. guy 1 verse 15, and the sixth month, building up the house, kick off, kick start, and the sixth month of 2024, your Hebrew month, dropping you into September, they shall be stirred up, and they shall move the energy in the right side of their house, going up the winding stairs, up to the upper kingdom, Yes, and move to the right hand side of the whole kingdom. Yes, that's how you sympathetically vibrate with the message. Praise God, Louis coming with, Valet coming with, Judah coming with. Yes, you don't need no hammer, you don't need no axe, you don't need no bulldozer, you don't need no shovel. No thing to build this house because the house is you. Children, now it's time to build the house. Solomon gave you the instruction and the detailed plan to build a house. First Kings chapter 6, 7 and 8. Yes, that's your house. The door in the middle chamber, the door in your shoshumba channel, the door in your spinal cord channel. You go up it and where you go? To the right! That's where you concentrate your energy and your thought. So there you will have your sympathetic vibration with Levite, loud voice, and your priest king, voice and truth. Go to the right side. It does not let in. Lies on the right side. Children. But we're not done yet. John 21. John 21. Set. Cast your net. Cast your vibration. Cast your energy. Cast your frequency. Cast your resonance. To the right hand side of your body. Especially. Your head, your king, dumb children of Israel, get it right and get it right in this last furlong, the last mile, the last mile of your journey. And you shall find your right side is your subconscious side, your spiritual side, your left side is your conscious brain, your physical part, that Lucifer, Vicar of Christ, Canaan, Benelli, and Goma Gentile Caucasian, your servant, been using against you. Cast your energy, your thought, your mind, your frequency, your vibration, to the right and fine. Tell your left ears to shut down and tell your right ears, time for you to listen and direct me in what I shall do, so I shall find, but we're not done yet. Academic frauders and menticiders have been exploiting your left brain and make sure your right brain put out a use, dysfunctionalized. Yes, that's what they've been doing. Systematic and intentional undermining of the left side of your brain, your left ears as well. And we call that brainwashing. That's why I give you this here. 
to let you know the left side is your conscious side that wants you to hear from me with a nice speaky spoky voice nice and quiet no rhythm no vibration no spirit added to it just a college professor no no go so hear me time for the spirit he did say the spirit gonna rise up in the people this is what i want to do the spirit shall be stirred back up Spirit don't come with that niceness that you think should be coming with it. No, no, go so. You hear me? Time for us to mash up mentis side. No more mentis side because we're moving to our subconscious mind which is on the right hand side. So no more academic fraud on the children of Israel. Children, Colossians chapter 3, verse 1, 2, and 3. You, if you be risen, if you arise with that Christ energy, seek things above, seek things in the heavenly, seek thought, seek the most high, because your Christ energy, seek on the right hand side of your head. You hear me? That's what I'm here to tell you. Your right brain and your right ears as to attune sympathetically with the word of the Most High, the word of the Lord, the word of your priest King Louis, the word of your Levite, the word of your Judah. Yes, that's the only way you're going to fully get the information the most high and the Lord those sending back for you. Because you are dead if you're on the left hand side. Did you hear me? Did I stutter? You are dead if you're listening with your left ears. You are dead if you're thinking and acting upon your left brain. Dead, dead, dead. Because your life Choose life. He's hidden in your Christ body. Which sits on the right hand side of your brain and your ears. Firmly giving back unto you children of Israel. Levites, you got the instruction to speak loud as loud as you can speak to the children of Israel. Second Chronicles 20 verse 19. The Levites stood up and praised the Lord in what? A loud voice. That's how you praise your Lord, my Levite and Israel, you too. So don't come around talking about your one quiet voice and da, 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 da. Nehemiah 9 verse 4. There the Levite stood up on the stairs, the higher heaven, the Holy Spirit, and said what? Cried with a loud voice unto their Lord. That's how our Lord wants us to talk to him, commune with him, reach out to him. Lord, voice, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Serve him with gladness. Come before him with loud praise. Instruction given back unto you. So stay there and follow the Gentile with this quiet reaching out to your Lord. When your Lord says, make a noise. Unto me, because you're not Gentile Caucasian that don't know God. You hear me? You're not Gentile Caucasian who don't know God. I'm only teaching you concupiscence, concupiscence, concupiscence. Look up the meaning on your screen and you get what I'm talking about. Come in with our loud voice. And I, loud voice of the Spirit coming back to the children of Israel. But we're not done yet. Yeah. Children of Israel, when I come to you and speak to you in a loud voice, here is your instruction I'm giving back to you. Yes, Deuteronomy 27, verse 14. When I come to you, speak to you, all of you, in a loud voice. You, depending on what I'm saying, shall say, all the people shall say, Amen. 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 That's what I want to hear from you. Only thing I'm interested in hearing from you. Saying, Amen, my brother. Let it be known unto us. That's what I want to hear from you. Curse be the man that removed his neighbor from all of his land, that took your land. 
Right now, your servants running up and down on your land, telling you, telling you, telling you they have title to the land. No, no, Gosta. Amen. That's what I want to hear from you. Curse be he that made the blind, the dead, go and wander out of knowledge. Yes, curse be unto them. Amen. That's what I want to hear from you when I come to you with a loud voice under the instruction given to me by the Lord told Melchizedek, Jehovah. Amen. That's what I want to hear from you. Curse be who? The Gentile, Canaan, Vicar, 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 Binele. That perverted the justice and the money system, the legal system, the food system, your praising system. Amen. That's what I want to hear from your children of Israel. So moving back. Save it again. You shall come back into who you are after that 70 year done. All of who set up their good time. All of who set up their good time. Done, 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 done. Zechariah 8, verse 13. Hey, 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 shall come to pass. Both written in italic. Both written in italic. Both written in italic. As you were a curse among the Gentile Caucasian, among Canaan, among Benheli, among Vicar of Christ, among Cabal, yes, house of Judah, and raising you up. And the children of Israel, you're being Raised up as well. So I shall turn your curse into a blessing. Coming back your way. Let your hands rise and be on strong. Is your right hand. That's the last name of your priest. King coming back to straighten that hand. The right hand especially. Children. The 70 years are done. You hear me? Curse turning into blessing. Yes. So fear not, Joshua. Fear not, Zerubbabel. Fear not, my priest king. Fear not, Levite. Fear not, Judah. Fear not, Israel. Fear not, Jacob. Fear not, you have a arm strong. Is your right hand. Your Lord love you. That is your other right hand and left hand at the same time. Behold, I set before you. I'm this day a blessing. If you want to move back to your blessing after your seventh year, done 2024 to 2027. Time for your blessing to kick in, children of Israel. Ah, oh, you can remain. And be Nelly, Canaan, Vicar of Christ, Coma Gentile Caucasian, your servant. Curse. Choose life. Choose the blessing. Zechariah 8, verse 13. Giving you again. Blessings coming your way. Curse is ending. I'm presenting to you your blessing coming back. You can go to your blessing. Turn your thoughts back to the Lord thought, and I shall turn back to you. That's the instruction from the Lord. Or if you don't turn, you're still on the curse. If you don't turn your thoughts back, go back to your Lord. You're still on the curse. So make sure you go back to your Lord. Hear me now and hear me well. So your blessing can be put back on you and your fear no one going forward into your time of redemption, your time of deliverance when your priest king, which is set loose in 70 years, which is this year, which is this year, which is this Hebrew year, coming your way. I'm strong. Bringing back your blessing on my behalf, says the Lord, those Melchizedek, your head, children.
blessing and a curse. I put it back again in front of you. You know them very well, so make sure you put yourself, make sure you put yourself in the blessing. Don't go mess with their curse. Get off their curse. You're being given that opportunity to walk yourself back to your Lord. Turn your thoughts, all of it, 100%. Back to your Lord, so you don't die and perish and get hunger in their famine. When their time kicking for hunger and famine, 2025, 2026. Those years, hunger, famine, and pure death coming their way when they're fully cut off and they're gonna get hungry and eat one another flesh. Don't want that for you. So I'm spending the time giving you all your information. You need to move back to the Lord. Don't. Melchizedek, Jehovah, call upon his name and he shall deliver you and shall get the message that you're coming back to him. You're moving back your thought to him and you're calling him. You are addressing the Lord by his right name. Don't Melchizedek, Jehovah, Adonai, he's in your Bible. Italics that, wherever it's italics, I keep pointing it out to you. Why is it italics? I gave you the meaning of italic. That's when they want to distinguish it, that it's a word of emphasis and importance. Then they make it italics or they make something close to it, italics. So, again, if you look, down below on the left hand side, Zechariah 8, verse 13, where it get to fear not, but italics again, something important coming after that but or related to the but, and that is arm strong. They know they dropped the arm and they left only strong. So that's what they're indicating to themselves. It should be arm strong, just as it is in Psalms 89, 13. On strong is your right hand. And then now they break it short and say, let your hand be strong. It should be, let your hands be arm strong. So they put the italics there to make a codification, to code it that something need to be explained right there where the italics is to slow your roll down. That's what they're telling you. And in your New Testament, they make it and print it in red to tell you, slow down. Once you see something printed in red, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, slow your roll. There's something deep hidden in the red writing. Children of Israel, your sound mind coming up, your blessing and your curse again. I don't need to keep going over this because you know your blessing is there waiting for you. I have to let you know your curse is done. Don't have to stay on it unless you so choose. If you will not hear me, if you will not lay your thoughts to me, if you will not give me the glory and give it to my right name, Thoth Melchizedek Jehovah Adonai. Say it the Lord, Thoth Melchizedek Jehovah Adonai. Yes, I will even send curse upon you. Again, the curse is already on you. Now it needs to be lifted and I will not curse your blessing anymore. Your blessing come back to you fully as given unto you in Malachi 2 verse 2 where the curse is there. Time to lift that curse and bring it back to a blessing. So you shall, I will hear your voice, my Lord. Listen to the voice of your priest, King Lois. Listen to the voice of your Levite. Listen to the voice of your Judah. Yes, I will turn my thought, which is my heart, back to you. I will lay it in your hands and give you the glory and the praise and not the fallen angel Lucifer and his dogged friend Cain and his naked son Benelli and his naked son Benelli and vicar of Christ running up and down in all kind of different color robe with star of David hat from demons and yes go my gentle Caucasian fully taken over by the forces of darkness that time is done move yourself back to your blessings, children. Children, call upon my name because you have been told my name and no more shall my name be in italics. That again, in italics. Italics, 
used to distinguish words for emphasis and for importance. So what emphasis or importance is being made here in Joel 2 verse 32 and Acts 2 verse 21? Children of Israel, that is not that. It is those, your name of your Lord, whosoever shall call upon that name. Those will be delivered. Children of Israel, getting back your blessing. Same thing being told unto you in Acts 2 verse 21. As it says in Joel 2 verse 32. If you shall call upon my name, those, whoever call that name, shall be saved. From all those curse and all those dreadful things coming in 2025 and 2026. Did you hear me? I said, did you hear me? Children of Israel, charge A and charge B. Stay with the blessing. Let go the curse. Let go the curse. I bless it. If you obey my commandments, I bless it. Obey the commandment given unto you by the priest King Lois, the priest King Lois, Jerome Armstrong, and his Levites that came with him, and Judah that came with him, and you will know them by their words, and what they're telling you, and who they tell you. Send them! They're not coming from the Lord, though. I don't know who sent them. Ah, blessing! If you obey the commandments of the Lord, your nether, which I command you, this day, Sending you a blessing or a curse. A curse if you will not obey my commandment. A curse if you turn aside and don't follow my way. Go worship little G God. Set up all kind of white Jesus statue in your house. And all kind of shrines. And all kind of burning of incense. For love. For sex. For money. All kind of different things. When I tell you all the energy is within you. While you're burning up all these things. That I didn't command you to do in your book of law, your Bible, your book of truth. And go after all kind of things. Little G God tell you to do. You don't know where they're coming from. Why are you following them? The days they're giving you to go say it's your holiday. When you don't celebrate holiday, you celebrate holy day. Where did those days come from? Did, are they in your Bible as a day specifically marked for celebrating what they're telling you to celebrate? Christmas in your Bible? No! Easter in your Bible? One time! When it tell you, when it tell you, your mind will be captured at the time of Easter and they will not let your thought go until your father come and send back his priest king and his Levite. Then they let Easter go off your children. Get back your soul, man. You do not know all those practices they're giving you. You do not know any of those little G God. They are hybrids, dogs, cats, rat, snakes. Do not lead man, no woman. Did I say it loud enough for you? You don't let animal lead you. They are a lower intelligent, a lower life form. Why you think they have to hide from you? Because they know that they're lower than you. And the greatest trick is to not let you know who is ruling you. So you think you're being ruled by one of your own. But one of your own is not them. And if it's one of your own, he's really one of you. Then it has been fully been taken over mentally by these animal hybrids. No, no, them children of Israel. Let them go. Let them go. Sit down one side. Have a seat in the corner. Your time done. Children, choice A, choice B. Blessed if you want. Choice A. Or curse if you want. Choice B. Children, Zechariah 8, verse 16. These are the things. Those you shall do. Those telling you, you shall do. Speak to every man and woman the truth which is the law. That's why the Levites are sent back to you to give you the law. And first they get the law from your priest king, Louis, the spirit of truth. Because the truth he's coming with is the law. He came and he gave you the law. The five divine laws of the most high. The Ankh philosophy. He gave it unto you. So you know the law. Speak it to your Fellow man and your fellow woman as well. Don't let the knowledge stop with you.
spread the knowledge. Execute, practice, and perform. Right decision. You have decision. That's why I always give you choice A, your blessing. Choice B, your curse. And you perform judgment. You judge which one is right for you. And you so choose which one is right. But choose the judgment of what? Law. Judgment of law. God's law. And peace in your land. No war, no fighting, no conflict, no force, unity with integrity. That's what your priest king told unto you. Unity with integrity, united honestly, decently, fairly, justly with your brothers and sisters in your own land that is coming to you right now. Southeast portion of America is all yours. You hear me? All yours. So if you're busy with idea to go buy your own land, you're out of your mind. It is all yours. In a few months, it shall be yours. All yours. Starting with Florida. Did you hear me on that one? Florida. That's your Goshen, you don't buy land that you already own. You don't mortgage land that you already own. And you're not mortgaging the land. They're taking the money out of your trust, pay the house off fully, and come trick you that you have a loan when a loan doesn't exist. There is no second signature on your mortgage loan or any document that you sign that they claim you owe them. It's a unilateral promissory note you made to yourself where you promise to be charitable and give the bank that money, give the car place that money, give the credit card supposedly credit and money. It's your money! They took out of your belongings and give it unto you as a loan. Children! Your gates are coming back to you. Your land coming back to you. Your curse has been lifted. I say unto you, none of you shall imagine evil in your thoughts against your brothers and your sisters. I'm going to rob them like Ogoma Gentile, Caucasian, participating in robbing your blind of everything they set up in your name. Children, don't follow them with no usury, no, no money exchange, not trying to kill yourself up to go enroll in their university. Apply with mashing down the whole thing. Not one stone left on any bank, any university, any hospital, any college, any building that they put up. We're burning the whole thing down. They shall no thought when I set a fire to America, when I set a fire to Egypt. Burning the whole thing down. There shall be no Philistine left. There shall be no Chaldean left. There shall be no Canaanite left. There shall be no Balaam left. There shall be no Vicar of Christ left. There shall be no Washington DC Tyre left. There shall be no Sidon, New York City left. New York City going down in a earthquake. The first place the World War Three invaders gonna run in on is Washington DC. Tire it and burn it down to the ground. Children of Israel, I gave you a while ago the ending at your beginning. Children, love, no false oaths, no false declaration, no liars, don't love them, no lying, don't love them. All these things the Lord God thought Melchizedek hate. Don't like them, despise them, so don't do them. Do what I told you in option A to firmly fix yourself onto the blessing that is waiting for you. If you turn to me, my blessings turn to you. It is simple, as simple, as simple can it be. No complication. Turn back to me. You were already once mine. You went your way. Go follow all kind of different things. Different people that are lower than you. And now you can't let little people, little animal, little hybrid, and your servant rule you no more. 
You got to get back to the head of the table. Correct all that you have done to erroneously move yourself underneath your subordinate and move yourself back to be the one who's controlling, ruling, caretaking the entire planet. Arise, oh God. Arise, oh God. Arise, oh God. And judge this planet. Every nation you shall inherit firmly decided firmly decided children of Israel we're done the joking now now it's time for us to move back into the righteousness move back into the blessing chapter 38 of the sealed portion verse 70 verse 70 this is a summation of all the things and all the people who qualify themselves to be part of that kingdom that is coming up behold i say unto you whosoever shall hear the words of the prophets that i have sent back to you your number one prophet going to be your priest king soon, Lewis, Jerome, Armstrong, your Messiah, and all the Levites, all the Judah that came with him, that came with him, all the holy prophets, those who have prophesied of the coming back of the blessings of the Lord, the coming back of the 12 pillars of life of the Lord, the coming back of your deliverance, the coming back of your gathering, the coming back of your redemption, the coming back of your saving. Yes, all those who have heard those voices and listened carefully and listened carefully and put what they told them in action. Hear the word. The word is the seed. And the seed is the word. If they come and tell you as well, you are Christ. You have that Christ seed within you. A 13 in 1 seed that is coming to be reactivated very, very soon. When your sky crack open, that means it's time for your seed to start re-germinating, regenerating permanently. Giving you back your eternal life if you get all those messages. And you believe. That's the key point. And you believe. Again, that's the key point. And you believe. Those who believe shall get their reward. Those who believe, it shall count it to them as righteousness. And you believe. Those the Lord, those the Lord would redeem his people that he's putting back the blessings on. Those are the people that will be part of that kingdom. And if they look forward for their repentance, their sins to be forgiven. That's what repentance means. They made that change and they know the Lord has left that door open for them to change. And for those out of balance, those breaking of his law to be forgiven. Now they're going to put themselves back in the rightful way that the Lord has told them. They need to move themselves. And the number one way that they're breaking your contract these days, two main ones. They go after your head first in your five divine law, in your ankh law, your ankh philosophy. Your head is the blessing, the kiss that you get on your neck from the most high. They go after that and give your idols to worship. Give your white Jesus, that's your God. When the white folks, the Caucasian folks are your servant. So they turn your servant into your image of your God. That's the first way they cut you off. Get you on their knees, get you on your knees to go worship their little G God that they created with their hand and they warped my children. Then they go after your stomach which is your food and your appetite because they know your covenant, your contract, your agreement, your pledge with the Lord specifically, specifically, specifically forbid, forbid don't let you eat. Give you no permission to eat any kind of meat. Did you hear me from the back row? Did you hear me? No meat. So if they let you break those laws, break those agreements, move yourself back in agreement with the law. Your five divine law, your uncle law, your main prophet, your priest king prophet came and gave you the spirit of truth, the spirit of the law. He gave you the five divine law and your book of law said, 
those who are not following the law, practicing the Ankh law, the Ankh cross philosophy, are not worthy to be my disciple, are not worthy to be my follower. And if you're not practicing your cross, you are dead. For those who don't believe in the cross, the Ankh, they are dead because those who believe in their Ankh cross his life given unto them. That's the meaning of your Ankh. Life. 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 Children, made it clear for you. Those people that move back to the law of the most high, those who beg forgiveness, did their supplication. Go back to the Lord. Ask humble, humbly, humbly, earnestly, eager to the Lord. Forgive my sins. Let me move back to not being out of balance with your law. Let me move back to not breaking your law. And further in this message, I'm going to tell you and show you how to do your supplication. How to do all of it. But those people are the seed. What is a seed? Your regenerative seed to turn back on your eternal life. That's coming back to the people here. That's described here on the left hand side of your screen. These are the seed. They are the ones who are here. Receivers of the kingdom. Kingdom. You become king in your dome is your head. Kingdom of God. All your God power is in the head on the right hand side of your house, which is your head. Those get to be resurrected in that first gathering coming your way, 2024, 2025. Verse 74. And now the resurrection of all the prophets, all the prophets, Levite, Judah, priest, king, all those who believed in the words of the prophet. Those who believe what I'm telling them and moving into the direction that the Lord is instructing them because I told you already who sent me at the beginning of all my message. I'll tell you who sent me. And when I end with the message, I again tell you who sent me. All those who have kept the commandment of the Most High Allah and the Lord told Melchizedek shall come forth in the first resurrection. Those are the first getting back what? Their seed, their kingdom of the most high, inheriting the new world. Did you hear me? They are the one that will be raised up to live with the most high. Ella. Yeah, your head bow I'm the Lord Pope Melchizedek. Your head bow. I'm the Shalom. Eternal. Eternal. Eternal life coming your way. Firmly decided, children of Israel, to make it easy for you to follow, I have summarized it on this page. Take a look at the page. I've made it very clear who is counted as the righteous seed who will be part of the first resurrection who will be part of the first gathering, who will be part of that first exodus. Take a look at it. Make sure you are putting yourself into one of these things. Make sure. Don't have to cover all five for yourself, but make sure that you fit one of these. These are the people these are the people that will be part of that first gathering, the first resurrection, the first removal from the surface of the planet while the rest of the planet and the people who didn't make themselves ready have a question mark hanging over their head whether they will survive the next 12 months. Children, look at this page. Know it well. Practice it. Be a part of it. Be a part of one of these or more, one or more, you are okay. Children, get to work. Children, get to work. Children, get to work. Children, get to work. Children of Levi, children of Judah, children of Israel, and especially children of Jacob, get to work. Make sure you fit one of these. 
Say it to you loud and clear so you can never say his voice, his trumpet, his trumpet didn't sound loud enough and I didn't get the message. So is Neophyte, the AG fault, not no gossip. I give it to you. Sound in the trumpet so your blood shall not be on my hand if you miss the first gathering, the first exodus. Get to work. Time. To build the house. Say yes again. Choice A, the blessing. Choice B, the curse. Children of Israel. Zechariah 1, verse 3. We we'll go back to where we start from. Say unto the children, all of you, whether you're Gentile, Caucasian, or you Jew, sing it to you. Turn your thoughts back to the Lord. Turn to the Lord. Turn to the Lord. And the Lord, those men, check for them, will turn to you. Turn to those. And those will turn to you. Turn to Melchizedek. And Melchizedek will return to you. Turn to Yahweh. And Yahweh will turn to you. Turn to Adonai, and Adonai will turn to you. Chapter 38 of the sealed portion. Chapter if you decide you're not turning to nobody because you're your own big man, or you're your own big woman, and you're not turning to nobody because me not believe in anything. I don't believe in none of that. That is rubbish. Da, 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 da. All right, let me read for you. The Lord redeem none that rebel against him. You hear me a while ago? I'm going to say it again. The Lord told me, Hail Chesedic, Yehovah, Adonai, redeem, resurrect, gather none that rebel against him. None that rebel against him. None that rebel against him. And die in their sin. Children of Israel, make sure you don't get on the rebels or Ross bandwagon and start rebelling against the Most High and the Lord at this time. Risky business to be endeavoring into at this time. Those who have willingly rebelled against the Most High, Ela, Yah, Yodhepahu, and the Lord told Melchizedek, Yodhepah, who have known the commandment of the Most High and would not keep them. Did you hear me a while ago? Did you hear me a while ago? I gave you your five divine laws and I told you the two that they always go after. So make sure you fix up your head. Make sure you fix up your head. Get back that kiss place firmly on your neck. So get rid of that white Jesus you have hanging anywhere in your house, in your land, in your school, in your whatever. Get it out of your sight. Burn that thing as fast as you can burn it. Burn it! If you have no altar set up in your house for love, money, man, woman, this, whatever, sex, drug, and rock and roll, get rid of it. Get rid of it. And if you're ever making a chant to an unknown elemental dopey, any ghost, or to no black doctor, or to Bal, or to Benelli, or to Cain, throw it out quick as quick can be. Get it out of your way. And if you're busy cooking up meat, start dairy, sugar, throw it away, especially meat, no matter which meat, it could come from birth, anything flying in the air, something running up and down on the land, something burying itself under the land, or if it's women in any ocean, or any river water, just the same, stop eating it, children of Israel. You're breaking the commandment. I just gave the commandments to you and you still insist you're going to break those commandments. Those two that they always use to grab and hold on to you. Those who do not keep them, they shall have no part in my first resurrection. They shall have no part in my first resurrection. You're going to have to wait out the 12 months. Big question mark over your head if you're going to be alive after those 12 months. So, giving you your choice. A, B. A, your blessing. B, your curse. You choose. You 
exercise your judgment. But no, no one who is against the most I will and continue and continually to break his law going up to the time of now, 2024, leading into 2025, you won't be part of that first resurrection, that first gathering, that first remover. No, you're going to have to wait it out and guess if you're going to survive or not. Those who rebel against the most uh, rebel without a cause, rebel that's going down in flames you are. So, children of Israel, I have made it clear, as clear as clear can be, no of you can serve two masters. Matthew 6, verse 24. No, you can't serve two masters. You gotta choose one. Go back to the Lord, and the Lord will go back to you. If you continue to serve Lucifer, when time come, when the time come, that you call upon him, silence, cricket in the building. He don't answer it. As I told unto you in 1 Kings, when you went, hang a call Lucifer at the time when judgment start to reach you, pressure start to reach you. No answer came from Lucifer and you caught up yourself and you call his name over and over and he not answering. Lucifer been silenced people so he can't answer because he can't save himself. How is he gonna save you? Cannot serve Lucifer and the most high and the Lord at the same time. Can't serve mammon that coming to you with this money idea now and all his money changing and all his usury. Can't serve him because there's a place waiting for him and for those who followed him off that cliff. Luke 16 verse 9. And I say unto you, make yourself Friends of Mammon at your own risk. Mammon is unrighteousness. Anyone telling you to go chased on riches and wealth and all kind of sex and all kind of big property and all kind of money exchanging and usury against your brothers and sisters, setting up all kind of enticement and all kind of big military, all kind of organized religion, all kind of big finance company, all kind of food company, all kind of pharmaceutical, all kind of social structure, keeping the children of Israel at the bottom, the black people at the bottom and putting their servant Gomez Gentile Caucasian at the top. That is mammon of unrighteousness. When mammon fail, and it certainly fail, 2025 going into 2027, failure guaranteed. Yes, he shall take you down with him to that habitation of Hades, that place, that dark, cruel place of torture going on, all of it waiting for you. They are all going there, and they want to make sure they take you there with them. Mammon. Heading for Hades. I leave a description of Hades on the screen while I'm talking to you about Hades and Mammon. That's where he's going. If he has his money changing going and his money changing going and his money exchanging going and his usury going and his fornicating going and his rebelling against the Lord going and his rebelling against the Most High going and those of his Catholic priests that love to have sex with little boys in the anus, yes, there's a spot waiting for them too. So all of who doing their wickedness, no matter what, you're calling up demons and elemental, setting up altars and all kind of thing, yes, there's a spot in Hades waiting for you. Anything that's outside of the law, the commandment, the instruction given unto you in the holy book of the monster, yes, there's a spot waiting for you. Divination, yes, going to Obia man and Obia woman and setting all kind of curse and go zoom, zoom, zoom on people, yes, there's a spot waiting for you. I'll give you the precept of it so you go read it on your own to make sure none of those things that they say are going to guarantee your spot up there works for you or is on you. Children of Israel, get your sound mind back. Yeah, bless it. Turn yourself unto the Lord and the Lord will turn unto you. Zechariah 1 verse 3, gonna keep repeating it. Don't want you to be part of Amos 9 verse 3. A curse. All the sinners of the children of Israel, the children of Jacob, the children of Levi, the children of Judah, the children of Ephraim, that stiff neck, stubborn, stubborn, say, I am not going to listen. I am not going to listen. I am going to keep on the same path 
that have been going down with Benelli que no sepa Mahmoud yes fixing their idol worshipping their evil their wickedness and breaking the law even though they were told they're breaking the law they shall die all of them by the sword civil war coming 2025 world war Russia China Iran the dragon and his allies China and Russia and the Carmonian, which are the Iranian, coming with that east wind as given unto you in 2nd Ezra 15. Certain as certain can be. My people shall die if they don't go back to the Most High and the Lord and continue in their sinful way. You're getting the warning over and over and over and over. Children of Israel, turn your thoughts back to the Lord. I am going to make sure you get this message as loud as it shall be. So you turn your thoughts back to the Lord. And he the Lord thought Melchizedek, yo, hey, what? Shall turn his thought back to you, so you shall be part of the resurrection, part of the gathering, part of the redeeming of the people, part of the removal of my righteous seed. Before the natural disasters strike the planet, firmly given back unto you, now all of you, Turn your thoughts back to the Lord those and the words of the Lord those that he's sending with his priest king and his saints, his Levites and his elect, Judah. Turn your thoughts before I destroy this planet and rebuild it with the righteous seed. I'm giving you a chance to get rid of your stumbling blocks and get the fullness of the gospel, the fullness of the truth, the fullness of the law. Let go. Your false prophet that you have acting as the Judah at your time. It's really Judas. They are. They're acting as false prophet, whether they black, or whether they white, or whether they Asian, or whether they Indian, whatever. They are coming now with religion, organized, they're false prophet. Right off the bat, false prophet, the most High, not sending any of his Levite back in the church. You hear me? They're coming, standing alone, standing alone. Father Most High, not coming with no thrills, not coming with no cheap thrills, and no glitz, and no glamour. When you receive that fullness, you shall get that seal of the Most High in your forehead and begin to prepare yourself. And now you prepare yourself. Turn your thoughts back to the Lord. And he shall turn his thoughts back to you. Children, you can get the blessing or the curse, but I'm giving you the blessing now. I'm focusing on that. Seal portion, 70, verse 68. But the Lord shall not destroy the earth, America, with all the penalties, the karmic penalty coming to America until the Lord trust been given a chance to change their path. That is what repent is. Change your path from the sinfulness. Sin is breaking the law of the most high. Being out of balance. Lack of harmony with the most high law. And turn your thoughts back to the Lord and the most high. It keep telling you over and over. Turn your thoughts to me. Turn to me. And I will turn to you. Crystal clear. Always coming back that way. You got to move back to the Lord. Start thinking about the Lord. Start praying to the Lord in the morning, at night, and in the afternoon as well. Pray to the Lord. Especially at this time when Lucifer running rampant, setting himself up to set loose ghosts and demons and wild beasts on you and flying vessels with all kind of laser gun. Deuteronomy 30 verse 2. You shall return to me. Say up the Lord. Turn to the Lord. You shall obey my voice that I am sending with my priest king, Louis, 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 and my leave 
Christ that are telling you all the law that you need to move back to, that the most I put in the book of truth, the book of law, giving it back to you. Some of them might not go with where you're planning on sending yourself in these last time, but you make sure you pull your handbrake up and go back to those law and don't follow Lucifer and the vicar and the Roma Gentile Caucasian off no cliff. Hear my voice according to all the commandments I have given you this day. I'm going to get some this day and I've been giving it to you every day that I come and give you a message. You are my children. Bring back your heart and your soul to me. Turn your thoughts back to the Lord. Turn your soul. Connect yourself back spiritually to me. Telling you over and over. Deuteronomy 30 verse 3. Don't then the Lord your netter will turn away every captivity. Lucifer of your him, Benelia of your him, Canaan of your him, Vicar of your him, Roma Gentile Caucasian of your him, the Cabal hidden hand of your will. Turning back every single one of them. And at this time, when all debts have to be cashed in, all debts have to be paid off by them, yes, they have to let you free. They have to let you go. Have compassion on you. That's what I will do as the Lord. I will show you my love and my kindness, my blessings, my charity, my pardoning you of all your previous sin and will return to you. Over and over, I will return to you. If you shall return to me, return to me. Turn your thoughts back to me. Turn your hearts back to me. That's what it means. Connect back your soul with me. Think about me. Pray to me. That's what that means. Connect your soul. Your soul through your spirit. Your soul through your spirit. And your prayer. Connect back to the Lord. Return with your thought. Return with your prayer. And I shall return to you. And remove every captivity that you're in. And gather your twelve pillars of light. I am setting upon your entire planet. Four on the land of America. Gather you before all these karmic penalty begin to play out on America and the rest of the planet. Children, Hosea 14 verse 1 again. Return to the Lord. I am telling you over and over. Return to the Lord. Children, Israel, return to the Lord. Return to the Lord. You are in a fallen state right now. Return to the Lord. Return to the Lord. Jeremiah 4 verse 1 again. Thou shall return, if you shall return, if you shall return. Israel, talking to you. Jacob, I'm talking to you. If you shall return, my black people, in America especially, and the rest of the planet. If you shall return to me, return unto me. If you will put away all the evil, the sins, the, all the wrongs you're doing. Oh, my Gentile, busy, giving you all kind of enticement that he got from Vicar, and Vicar got it from Canaan, and Canaan got it from Benelli, and who's writing the script for all of it? Lucifer! Tell you already that he's done, but him still writing information, sending down to you. Yes, put away those abominations. The Lord see it. No matter how dark the place is that you did all your evil, the Lord see it anyway. There is no dark in the fifth dimension. Then I shall not remove you if you put away your sins and return to me. None of the karmic penalty, those four of them will reach you if you return unto the Lord. Put away those sins. Don't let them happen again. Don't do any more inequity. Don't break the most high law anymore. You shall be ready. Yes, second Ezra 16, verse 67. I spent some time on this last week. Let me slow it down for you. This is how you start to move your thoughts back to the Most High. The Most High, the Lord, and the Most High, Ella, are the judge. They're the ones who present to you the blessing and the curse. You judge, you choose. That's what the judge is. You make a choice whether you want to do good or you want to do evil. 
Fear the Lord. Respect him. Respect him. Respect him. Stop your sin. Sin. Breaking the law. Unbalance with the law. Lack of harmony with the laws of God. He gave you five divine laws. I went over those last week. The ones that I want to concentrate on is he give you the five divine laws, but you have to operate every law with love. You hear me? Love. Go back to love. Love the Lord and the Most High with all your thought. Turning your thought back to the Lord and the Most High and with all your soul. Through your prayers, prayers, prayers. That's how you get it done. You move your way back to the Lord and then love your fellow man and your fellow woman, your brothers and your sisters, all the people around you, regardless of color or race or country. Love them as you would love yourself. Do unto them only the things that you would want them to do unto you. Those are the two fundamental, foundational, basic law that you use to operate your five divine law. Move back to those two basic and your five divine law come onto you, fit onto you like a glove. Remove yourself from those sins that you've been doing to break the law. You know when you're breaking the law and you go back to love, love, love. That will always fix you back on the law. And number one, one, that you need to make sure you are practicing. You're on your five divine law. Law five about your food. No meat. No flesh, because they're turning you into cannibal and making sure you're breaking your covenant, your contract, your agreement with the Most High and the Lord. Your agreement specifically bar you, exclude you, specifically tell you, you cannot eat no flesh, no meat, whether from things that fly, things in the ocean, or on the land, or underneath the land that are flesh. You cannot eat Flesh, that's the foundation for your five divine law. The fifth one, once you don't break that one, you're on the covenant, the contract, the agreement, and whatever the Lord and the Most I say they're going to do for you, they shall do it because you're honoring your end of the agreement. So they must honor their end of the agreement. And with that, turn your thoughts back to the Most High and the Lord. Turn from breaking the law. Feel the regret. Change your mind, which is change your thought. Never do them again. After you realize, after you have determined how you're breaking the law, move back into harmony with that law. Never break it again. Not at this time. 2024, when you only have a few months before the karmic penalty is set loose on this planet. Children, I will deliver you. I will deliver you if you go back to my law. Never commit any breaking of my law. And I will lead you and deliver you. Save you. Redeem you. Make sure you're safe from those four. Penalty. Comic penalty. Comic. For all those who were oppressing you and afflicting you. Children, go back to the most high law. Go back to love the basic law. Go back to stop eating your flesh. Give up the flesh, no matter which one. Every meat you can think of, it's cannibal. Cannibalism, and they're making you break your covenant. That's why I told you in First Maccabees that the Maccabeans, they rather to die than to eat the meat that the Pharaoh, the meat that the Greeks were trying to make them eat to make them break their holy covenant. And they said, no, we're not eating that meat and break our holy covenant. That's how important the meat eating, that's how important the meat eating is. You're not supposed to eat it because you're breaking your covenant. You're eating things that are sacrificed to Baal. And Canaan, that's what you're eating. And they have you busy doing that, knowing that you're breaking your law, but you do not know. But your Levi priests are back telling you what you were doing and where you went wrong. So, all of you now that did all these things, breaking the law, here is your fresh start. Especially those, those now, listen to me. Listen to me carefully on this one. Those 
who during the time of COVID pandemic went out and took shots, took injection, took vaccination for COVID, whether one shot, and booster shot, or whatever shot. Listen to this part carefully. This is your way back because you broke the most high law on medicine. The most high made it clear in Ezekiel 47 12. Ezekiel 47 12 that the leaves of the trees that I give you as your food, the leaves shall be your medicine. Only leaves shall be part of the medicine. Your food is your medicine and your medicine, your food. So the leaves of those food that you're eating is your medicine, specifically said in your book, in your book of law. It also gave you another version of it in your New Testament, Revelation 22, 2, that the herbs is for the healing of the nation, starting with the nation of power, the children of Israel. Herbs! So you broke the most high law when you go out and do pharmaceutical for your sickness, for your sickness. It didn't say anything about no pharmaceutical you should take. In fact, it said, take as much of the pharmaceutical as you want to take and you will not be cured. Is there no herbs in Gilead? That's what was asked of you because in Gilead, they removed the herb. Gilead is in central Florida. There's no herb because they moved the herb. So you had to go find herbs separately and follow the most high law. Use herb to heal yourself. But you took the vaccination and now you have to go back and do a supplication. All of you that have been breaking the most high law, whether you're eating meat, whether you're fornicating, FFFing, like it's going out of style, whether you're practicing evil thoughts against your neighbors, your friends, your family, whatever you've been doing, keeping yourself in anger, hate, jealousy, malice, yes, all of you, you have to go back and supplicate to a supplication. What is a supplication, you might ask? It's to pray to God, turning your soul back to the Lord and the Most High. Pray, that's a supplication. To pray to God, to pray to the Lord, to ask humbly. You gotta come humble. Get on your knees, get on your knees, bow on your knees and pray to the Most High. Pray to the Lord. Ask earnestly, earnestly eager to obtain with importunity meaning it's a rush my lord give me back that blessing give me back that washing of my sinfulness give me back strength to make sure i do not commit them anymore give it to me that's how you go to the most high humble but earnestly persistent in your demand from the lord persistent in your demand from the lord persistent in your demand from the most high that's how you make your supplication to the lord job made his supplication it's in your book to show you how you can do yours and what happened when you do a supplication Job 8 verse 4 the children of israel have sinned we all have sinned some of us found out that we're sinning, moved back to the right way before some. But everyone is now being given an opportunity to make that turn around, as they call it in your Bible, repent, and they call it on the street, and in your church, repent, but they're not telling you what repent is. Repent, turn away from sin. Turn away from breaking the law. Changing your way, amending your way, make a positive change, make a correction of the way and the thing that you have been doing. Feel that regret that, whoa, I know I broke the law. Most I am going to go to my most I and my Lord and say, listen, I am sorry for doing it. I'm not going to let it happen again. Guide me now to make sure I stay on the path. And then you change your thought. Whatever those things that were causing you to think these things, get them out of your space. Get them away from you. That's how you know that you're ready for your supplication. You're ready to do those things. I have sinned against you, my Lord. I have sinned against you, most God. Cast them away that he did. You moved away from him. So he moved away from you because you were busy sinning. And they're not going to stand right next to you and par with you and hang out with you while you're sinning. That's Lucifer's department. So the most I left you. He gave you a bill of divorce. The Lord gave you a bill of divorce and said, yeah, 
go stay with Lucifer. I am going to be over here when you're ready to come back. And my arms are wide open waiting for you. So you have to do. Job 8 verse 5. Seek the Lord. Turn your thoughts back to the Lord. Be kind. Speedily. Speedily. Do it. As soon as possible, 2024 is the last year you get to run around in your sinfulness and don't get punished. 2025, punishment kicking in. Make a supplication to the Lord God. Mehel Chesedic, Yohewa, Adonai, and the Most High. Ehela, Yah, Yohewa, Elohim. Make the supplication. Go to the Lord and pray to the Lord. Pray to the Most High. Ask humble. Get on your knees and pray to the Lord. In the morning, at night before bed, and in the afternoon, pray. You're going to pray and pray because you're asking earnestly, eager. Most High, I'm going to knock on this door until you answer the door and let me in and give me back my blessing. That's what it's called importunity. Urgent demand for you to be forgiven of your sins and move back to the blessing. Get off the curse. Let whoever wants to stay on the curse stay over there. So what happened? When you make your supplication, the reward, the blessing after your supplication, Job 8, verse 6, you were pure. You move back to the law. Surely I will awake for you. Surely the Lord will awake for you. Surely the most I will wake up for you. Yes, they will. And make your habitation, your dwelling place, your life, your things that are happening in your life, in the space around you. Make it prosperous coming your way. Righteously prosperous place being built for you right now. So, this new kingdom that's coming, it's a kingdom of righteousness where it's only going to be prosperity. So, don't you think if you do your supplication now, it's going to line you up to be in that prosperous new world of righteousness? Yes, yes, so sure as sure, your reward shall be given back unto you once you do your supplication. Ask for forgiveness. Go humble back to the Most High and the Lord. Ask and keep asking and asking over and over for your forgiveness for whatever you did to break the law. After you're given your blessing, continue to pray unto the Lord. Job 8 verse 7. Though your beginning was full of sinfulness, cut off, you were dead, lack of knowledge, at the bottom of the table, the bottom of the food chain. Yes, you were the least among all people, afflicted, scorned, disgraced, poor. That's where they put you. Small as small as you can be. Gentile, they put over you. They put your servant to rule over you. And yes, they made you small on top of small. But you shall be enlarged in the latter days. In the latter time. Yes, that's called their end time. 2024 to 2027 should be your great increase, will be your great increase. No more small. That's why you're getting your message now. Make your supplication, especially Jacob, the one who has not yet found his spiritual purpose. Make a supplication. Move yourself back. Petition to the Lord. Ask the Lord to forgive you for all that you have done, especially breaking his law. Items. Ask. Turn your thoughts back to the Lord. Turn your soul via your prayer, by means of your prayer, back to the Lord. Giving you your chance to get your increase. Stop being small and get your great increase in the latter time. It is your time. 
All of this is happening because of you. To put you back at your great increase. To put you back to be big. To put you back at the top. To put you back to show true righteousness to this planet. To put you back to be prosperous. Supplication via Job. But we're not done yet. Hear me now. This is for the more serious offenders of the Most High Law. We talked about the COVID. We talked about the COVID. Those who went and took their shots. Those who went, took vaccination. Greatly, greatly going against the Most High and the Lord's command. It was a test to see if you would choose the right way. Lucifer cannot force you to take those shots. He had to let you volunteer and sign an agreement paper that you volunteered to choose him, Mammon, instead of choosing the Most High. And the Most High had put out his edict saying you cannot serve two masters. You have to choose one, either the Most High or Mammon, which is Lucifer, the God of money. So hear what Lucifer did? He said, if you don't take the shot, you won't have a job. You won't get any benefit of going into these places and doing that. So he used money to tempt you, to entice you into making the choice for him. He wasn't honest. In his disclosure of what his COVID is, that he's setting you up for disease X. So when he run in, all these wild beasts and creatures and demons on you. Your vessel is easy to take over. Your body is easy to take over. That's what he did. So now for you, you have a special a special supplication that you have to do. You have to pull from Leviticus 26, 40 to 42. All those who did those COVID shots, all those who do all kind of murdering and wickedness, you have your chance right now. Leviticus 26, verse 40. If they, which is you, who have done wickedness, whether Gentile or Jews, Caucasian or Black, Indian, Asian, whatever, doesn't matter. If you confess your sinfulness, whatever you did to break the Most High law, inequity of your fathers, your forefathers, your parents who gave you that law, gave you these things as norm, confess that you went wrong, they went wrong, and you violated the laws of the Most High. You went against what he told you to do. Now that you find out, and it's a, whoa, wow, wow, I was way against the Most High and the Lord's rule. Now you have to confess that you went wrong. Those who gave it unto you went wrong as well. You went contrary to what the Most High Law is telling you, especially the law of love, the law of medicine, and the law of food. You went clearly wrong on those. So confess that to the Most High when you go to make your humble prayer to the Most High and the Lord. And those I have walked contrary to you. Got to make that confession. Can't be that big man and big woman. I'm not confessing. Blah, 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 blah. No, no, go so. You're playing with your life right now. And though I have walked contrary to your law. Verse 41 I'm reading from. Though I have walked contrary to your law. And you have delivered me to the enemy of my people. You gotta confess that. That's why he handed you over to them. He delivered you to them. He divorced you and delivered you to your enemies. So you have to make that recognition as well. That's what the Lord had done to you. Now, if you come and circumcised, spiritually impure, by eating meat and committing sin. That's what circumcised mean. If you uncircumcise your heart, meaning get the meat out and then cut off the impure things that your heart, your thought, your mind is thinking. You got to turn your heart, your thought back to the Lord and get off the meat so you can now become circumcised. That's what it means. Circumcised, cut off from flesh of the food, the meat that cannibal come and give you. And you accept that the punishment that you already got was well deserved because you walked contrary to the law. You were sitting. So until you decide to come out of the sin, whatever punishment that the enemy, your enemy, all the way from Baal Lucifer down to Goma Gentile Caucasian, they were punishing you day after day after day. Those punishments 
is time already served. Then will I remember my contract, my agreement, my promise, my pledge with Jacob. Jacob, you are the ones, most of you, that took those vaccines, that been running behind the Caucasian, doing all kind of looseness, eating pig, eating chicken, eating cow, all kind of different food you're putting in your body. So... Especially now, if you took that COVID vaccine and you draw that line that I choose mammon because you signed mammon agreement, you better make sure you do Leviticus 26, 40 through 42. Exactly what is being asked of you. First, confess you're breaking the law, the law that you break. Confess that your people, your forefathers, your foremothers, your ancestors break the law as well. Number one. Then tell the Lord, you walk contrary to his law. That's number two. Then, then, number three, you accept that the punishment that you got and your people got were just. And then the Lord will remember his covenant and bring his thought back to you. Firmly given back unto you. There's nothing that you cannot come back from up until the 23rd. 0.59 hours, but you're getting this at the 23rd hour, so you can make that change before the 24th hour come, and 2024 done, and you're not making that change, and firmly fix yourself into the four penalty for karma, coming your way, spending the time on it, Zechariah 12 verse 10, Yes, you shall supplicate until your children of Israel, children of Levite, children of Judah, children of Ephraim, you all shall make a supplication. Yes, the real ones, I will pour upon the house of Louis, the house of David, my one king, my one king, and upon the people. Them, the inhabitants, yes, people living in Jerusalem, the holy city, central Florida, and the rest of Florida. Yes, that's the ones I'm talking to. Yes, I'm telling you. Yes, I'm telling you. You shall come back unto your priest king, Louis Jerome Armstrong. Jerusalem, you S A in the word coming back. Supplication and grace coming back to your children. I'm not worried if the real ones gonna supplicate, cause you shall grace coming your way, favorable influence of the Lord. Both Melchizedek, influence of the spirit, Miriam, and the spirit of truth, Louis, Jerome, Armstrong, the spirit of the law. Yes, that same spirit that's renewing your heart has given unto you in Romans, the renewing of your thought. That's the grace coming back. I know it's coming back. Restraining your urge to be out of balance with my law. Breaking my law. Yes, I'm putting back that grace on your children of Israel. The grace started running since 2017 when your Jerusalem, Louis Jerome Armstrong, show up on the scene as your prince. And if, and if, when now he's moving to become your priest king, what kind of grace be handed back to you? Yes! Increase unto by increase. Yes! So, you shall supplicate as humbly unto the most high on the Lord God Melchizedek your head what I don't know ask 
and ask earnestly. Ask for your forgiveness. Ask for you when you are breaking the law for it to not be used against you to move you back to grace. Children of Israel coming to you. Children of Jerusalem. Louis, Jerome Armstrong coming to you. Children that's coming to build that new holy city. New Jerusalem coming to you without a delay. Romans 12 verse 2. Be not conformed to this broken down fallen world. Lucifer, Benelli, Canaan, Vicar of Christ, giving instruction to Cabal and Cabal, running Goma Gentile Caucasian. And give you a fallen world. Be not conformed to that broken down world, but transform with grace, grace. Renewing of your thought, renewing of your mind, Renewing of what you're putting in your cerebellum. Renew with your pineal. All that negative energy on the left hand side. Where they've been feeding you until your belly full. Stop listening with your left ears. Stop listening to them with your left ears. Stop thinking with your left brain. Renew your thought. Grace coming back to you. Perfect will of God on the right hand side. When you get back your grace. But when I don't know you. Second Ezra 14 verse 34. If you will roll over your mind. Roll over your thought. Get the perfect will. The perfect purpose of the most. Move your thought back. To the most of the Lord, Move back to the Lord, and He will move back to you so you can rule over your mind. Discipline your thoughts, rule over them, and make sure whatever new thought you're putting out is good in the sight of the Lord. The Lord not sending you out there to do any undisciplined thought. No, that's Lucifer department that is shutting down out of business sale going on. Fire sale going on. Yes, they shall know those who sent you to be his people. They shall know those. Egypt, Egypt is America. That's the original name for America. They shall not be when I set the fire to America, burning the whole thing down. So be not ruled by your thought. Roll your own thought. Silence that mind of negative coming within you. Silence it and discipline your thought. Then. You shall be kept alive, arise, coming your way. On death, have you no more death? Where is your power over me? Where is your sting? Death. I know you're not. Get out the building with Lucifer and Benelli and Canaan and Vicar and Goma Gentile Caucasian. Go over there to them. Death. They're all yours. Yes, eternal life is mine. Death plays no part in those who supplicate to the most high. Get back their spirit of rest and come to be children of Jerusalem. Yes, I live in no Jerusalem. Those are the people getting back that grace when they do their supplication. So I'm not worried if you're gonna do supplication or not. Grace, grace, favorable influence by the most high Ella and the Lord both. Judge, they will, and give you the right way to judge. Respect them. Cease from your sin. That's what grace bring to you, restraining you from sin, restraining you from sin, seizing you from sin, forgetting your wickedness, grace coming back 
to you will lead you to be delivered. Coming again, grace, 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 the spirit of the most high that makes sure you renew your thoughts and do not commit any more sins. Firmly giving unto you, children of Israel, children of grace, children of supplication. So I know the righteous seed will be supplicated so they can renew their thought. Grace proves that they have the perfect spirit of the most high. Grace and then roll over their mind. Grace and then discipline their thoughts. Grace and be kept alive. Yes, eternal life. Giving back unto you. Giving you the power over death. Where is your sting? Where is that death? That grave you promised me. Can I deliver that? Can I deliver that death? Because I'm now living among the eternal. Yes, yes, yes. Firmly. Decided unto you, children of grace, children of supplication. So I know the righteous seed, the righteous one of the most high. Levi, Jehovah, Israel, shall duplicate and get back there. Grace, grace, grace. Children of Israel, children of Shem, children of Judah, children of Levi, children of Jacob. This one again. This is the supplication that the leaders of Shem, the leaders of Israel, the leaders of Judah, the leaders of Levi, the leaders of Jacob, the leaders of Ephraim have to make and it shall certainly be made on behalf of all of you. Starting first with your Prince Lois, soon to be your priest king, and then with Levite, and then with Judah. All have to make this. Luke 15, verse 15. And the Shemite, the Shemite, went and joined themselves as citizen, city slave, of those people that the Lord does not go. Yes, of that country. Goma, Gentile, Esau, Edom, Caucasian set up to keep the Shemite fixed and firm. Lock up, lock up, lock up in. That's when they come up with their citizenship. After civil war, they gladly make you citizen after they free you from the plantation. Supposedly, it wasn't free. City slave. A citizen is still a slave, a city slave, running around masquerading that you're free. Yes, that's what they did. And he, Japheth's son, go my gentle Caucasian. Yes, at that time, send you to work in the field to feed swine, to build their economic. That's what the field is of the world economic. The world economic, yes, they send you there and they send you to be ruled by their little G God and their little El Lord that is giving them power. Vika, all the way back home to Canaan, all the way back home to Benelli, all the way from Benelli to fallen angel and Lucifer to feed your swine. Because the swine that you're eating is coming from those groups, cannibal. Cannibal, Cain and Baal, Cain and Baal. So you, as a Shemite, that fix up yourself with the Goma Gentile Caucasian, following Dagon's way, following the Philistine way, following Benelli way, swines, you shall be given a chance to get rid of your sinfulness. Make sure you can do this on your own, but your priest king, your Levite, your Judah have to do it as well. Luke 15, verse 21. And the son, S-U-N, said unto his father, the most Ella, Yah, Yod Hepahuhe, and the Lord thought, I have sinned against heaven. I have sinned against you. In your sight, I committed all kind of sin. I no more worthy to be called your son. Is you in? That's your confession to the Most High and the Lord. Ye are God's. 
E-R-S-U-N. Children of the Most High. And you move away and become swine feeders. Feeding the swine. Cannibal. Children of Israel. That's the confession that you're going to have to make. Same thing I told you here in Leviticus 26. Same thing I told you here, over here, in Job 8, verse 5. Same thing you're going to have to do. It's telling you over and over, you need to make your supplication over and over. You need to make your supplication to move yourself back to the Lord. This is how you do it. And he shall move back to you and give you your reward at this time. Children of Israel that made that journey back to their Lord, turn their thought, turn their thought, turn their mind, turn their soul, turn their prayer back to the Lord. Luke 15 verse 20, that's the reward for the S-U-N. Samson coming back unto you. Yes, he arose and he came to the Lord told and the most high Ella. But when he was a distance away, no distance, no more. You're right there. The father hugged you up already. Your father saw you and had compassion, mercy, forgive you and ran up to you. Fell on your neck. Yes, you get that kiss. Bless him. Your head handed back to you from your five divine law. Tell you, you your kiss, your head. God bless man. That's what he gave you in Genesis 1, verse 28. Luke 15, verse 22. Father, time oh, to put the blessing on you. The Father said to his servant, Who are your servants? I said, Who are your servants? Your servants in heaven, and you have your servants here on this planet. Yes, all the Gentiles, all of Goma Gentile Caucasia, your servants, every one of them, God may God, every one of them is your servant. They bring forth all of you, make it, all of you, make it, all of you, bring the best robe and make him a priest, king, heavens. Gonna put that robe on you and every man on the planet, in earth, in a physical body. Yes, your servant. Going to make sure it happen. Yes, put that robe on Lewis. Put it on him. And put it on him. Make him a priest king. Yes, make the princes that come with him. Levite, Judah, put them as prince. Yes, the right hand power. Put on him on his hand. Bring back the nation, the left hand power, social power, giving back unto you, coming your way, 2027, yes, and put shoes, shoes on his feet, give him a kind of it. all the gold, all silver, all rubies, all pearl, all diamond, belong to him. Children of Israel, did you hear me? Did you hear me? Luke 15, verse 20. That, uh, that's your supplication. Reward coming your way. Put that robe on Lewis. Make him priest king. Put the ring on his left hand. Make him the social power. Nation coming to America. Yes, put the shoes on his head. Hey, of it. You think you're poor? Broke? I need it. No, no, go so. Children of Israel, we're not done yet. Luke 15, 20, read. Read to him. The fatted car. No, it's not going to eat. No meat. No meat. No, it's not. No, it's not going to eat. No meat. Bring him the fatted. Economic. That's your calf, your cow, your kind. Economic. Bring him the bullocks. Bring him the fatted bullocks. And kill it. In this poverty. That's coming to your table. Let them eat. And me merry. You're only eating herbs, trees, vegetables, fruit. Going back to the diet given unto you in Genesis 1 verse 29. Yes, your entire five 
divine law given back unto you with one stroke. Hear me. Wait it. 27. All of this back on your children. I tell you, all of what's happening right now is for you, children of Israel. The black nation is for you because you are now being raised back up to go to the head of the table. Yes, Luke 15, verse 24. Yes, the SUNs, they were dead, but they're quite awake right now. Arise! 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 Stand up again. You're standing up again. Yes, we were lost, but now found. Yes, you were sad, but now Mary, children, this is for you. So, children of Israel, this is as a result of doing your supplication. Your reward come from doing your supplication. Gave you three examples where you supplicate and you get your full reward. The Lord turn back to you. Turn back to you. Give you back your blessing. Children, the Lord, last instruction that was given unto me to give unto you. Second Ezra 16, verse 40. Yes, this is now the time that you're moving in where these things are coming to occur. These things are coming to occur that your supplication will bring to you. But, again, I am going to tear down everything Goma Gentile Caucasian built, everything Vicar of Christ built, your Roman Pope built, everything Benelli built, everything Canaan built, everything Lucifer built, all of it going down. Children of Israel, the last thing I want to leave with you, because the Lord said, give them my full instruction, give them my full instruction for what they need to do at this last time when I'm bringing calamity to the planet, plague and all the karmic penalty coming home to roost. Children, hear me now. I know you are very caring. I know you like to stick your nose into Gentile Caucasian business. I know you like to know everybody's business. But children, hear me now and hear me well. Hear my words, my people. The Lord talking to God. Prepare for battle. And in the midst of the battle. In the midst of the battle. Be like a stranger. That's the instruction I want to leave unto you. Yes. And in the midst of all the calamities. All the plagues. All the things happening to the Gentile and all the other nations that ruled over you, mistreat you, treat you with scorn. Yes, be like a stranger. The instruction, final one, given unto you. Be like a stranger. Do not get involved. Do not attach yourself. Do not hold on to do not give your creative power to all these evil beings and the people that were holding you hostage. Do not give them your energy. You've been giving them your energy. For the last 400 years and for the last 70, they drain every ounce of your energy. Children of Israel, separate, separate from them at this time. Separate. From them and their evil and their wickedness. You were told, children of Zion, children of Israel, children of Levi, children of Judah, children of Jacob, get out of Babylon before I mash it up. Get out, separate, be like a stranger. Flee from the host of Babylon while I pour out the calamity on her. Be 
Life has to end. Church. Children of Israel. That's the instruction I get to give unto you. And the instruction delivered unto you. And the next message. The great sign of the removal of Levite, Judah, Israel. Are those who made themselves ready to be removed before the calamity come. Make sure, make sure, make sure you do your supplication. So you can be a part of this removal of Levite, Judah, Israel. Before calamity strike and Lucifer get mad and go mad on you with his great wrath. Lucifer, son of lawlessness, shameless one, know he's going out of business. Done, done, done. So he's out for blood. Children, start strong, oh children of Israel. Start strong, oh children of Levi. Stand strong, oh children of Judah. Stand strong, Ephraim, Jacob. Stand strong, all the same. Supplicate Jacob and Gentile, Goma Gentile, Caucasian. Yes, you too. Supplicate for all that you have done to Jacob, Israel, during their fallen state. And you again shall be numbered among the children of Israel. Go back to the instruction given unto you. Cleave unto Jacob. Cleave unto Jacob. Wherever Jacob go, make sure you go with him. And you take care of him until his time come. When you shall be numbered among my righteous seed, the one third that survived all of this. Children of Israel, in the name of the Most High, all of you. Ela, Yaha, Yod, Hebahuhe, Elopim, Netta, Rap, Netta, God in your modern day, no. Koda wish, Koda wish, Koda wish, Yod, Hebahuhe, Seba, Jot. Koda wish, Koda wish, Koda wish, Elohim, Seba, Jot. Yes, my Lord, thank you, my Lord, for all the blessings, for all the blessings that you brought back to us, my Lord. You have prepared us for the battle that's coming, and you have made us ready, gave us firmly decided instruction. That's what? We should do. Ah, this time we shall turn back to you. Judah got the message. Levi got the message. Israel got the message. Jacob got the message. Gentile got the message. All the nation got the message. So it's up to them. Turn back to the Lord. Don't Melchizedek. You hey, what? Turn back. To us, my Lord, as we turn to you. Turn, we will, to you, my Lord. Because we can't turn to Lucifer. He's going out of business. And you made it clear to us. And we get back our sound mind. To know that he stands no chance against the righteous seed that's raising up right now, that you're raising up right now to make sure this planet move back to the order of the most high Ella. Yeah, Lord Edbawe, and what you say, my Lord, shall stand firmly as firm can be. Start strong, we will, in your name. We shall fear not whoever come against us. We fear them not because you gave us all the instructions we need. Fear not children of Israel. Fear not children of Israel. I am with you the whole way. Children. Leaving you with the ending at the beginning as well. The ending at the beginning. You have already gotten the kiss on your neck. From the Lord. Who made the deck. Blessings waiting to come back in. Put on the robe you will, my Lord. The servant, the heavenly servant. And the ones down here that are our servant. Shall put back on our robe. And yes, the ring going on our finger. And on our feet. 
We thank you, my Lord, for giving us the ending at the beginning. And we shall be merry, merry and merry with you, my Lord. In the kingdom of holy America, the holy one. Kodowish, 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 Adonai, Sepajo. My Lord, thank you. Underworld. Rising sun. Yo. What if Donald Trump was put in position? Shake up the deep state, the shadow government. That's why they all don't like him. <laughs> Feeding us lies through the eyes of the TV. Media owned by the same crooked families. Watching the news and we all in a frenzy. We live in a world can't call for your case news. Keeping your eyes on the money for real. I'ma get me this automobile Money making numb to the ones who fail Now is this matrix real? What is Virus surprise and election Change of vote, ooh, the deception One if solution to the confusion Kill your fair bondage right there What if you never like to eat the meat so much Ain't gotta worry about no virus getting into us What if the 5G was the infamous They put the virus in the needle that they gave to us Corona crash the stock market What if that's to drain the pockets Of the poor, the middle class and more The rich weather the storm, that's damn for sure Move your savings to the money market Treasury bonds is the target Triple six vaccine is on the market No work, no school if you don't got it Whoa. Time out, find out All my savings done wiped out You ever thought they might switch up the dough? Ooh, I gotta go, I'ma buy me some gold Long lines in the cantina What if you're getting fed by FEMA? What if you can't plan food either? You ain't playing the stock can't stand Curfew leads to martial law Soldiers arm and they on your block Carolina's in Georgia Get to Florida too, what if that's the spot? Borders closed, what if you can't come back? Civil war is at your door and it won't knock Russians told you about land you got What if they know something you don't? Russia and China ran up to something What if the war would be fought in your own place? Carolina and Georgia the safe place Florida too, better get here quickly Russia and China ran up to something What if the war would be fought in your own place?